Hi again Youtubers, here I am with another video, oh yeah video. Well in other videos people have been asking me about one thing and that thing is the arcade emulator, the Mame for Droid or Mame for All or Main for All, whatever you call it, the arcade emulator. Well let's show it some games. Remember it only works with the ROM set um, 37B5 or 37B11 but let's show some games in this case let's try some some Neo Geo games let's use let me see Eggman or Blazing Star let's use Eggman They run very well, they sound very well. The virtual controllers on the screen can be taken out, can be disabled through the options menu. But I don't I don't recommend it because it also in the virtual controller is the coin button and the start button. Some game need that to be accessed with the touchpad on the Uya control. Sadly, my Uya control is faulty, so I using this Chinese PS3 knockoff control. It's very bad, very laggy. So if you compare a, an original PS3 control, it's better. So let's start the game. You can see the games play well, it looks well. Sorry, my control turned off. Okay, now it's working again. Damn it, I wasn't going. To. Sorry about that. But you can take off the mommy, and when you return, the game's still running through the menu we have seen the game and let's show some CPS1 because this one doesn't run CPS2 this time I could go with Street Fighter 2 or King of Dragon but in this, kind, in this time I will use King of Dragon to show that we need to use the coin button on the screen. I have connected a, a USB mouse to access the the coin button. I will show you, show you something really quick. Ah, oh, damn again! Never hit the home button twice. <laughs> Okay. In here we go to our option menu settings. And something good about this emulator is that you can define the key. You can map the keys in this emulator. But sadly, it supports four player. But sadly, we cannot map the coin button. Only the start button. And the select that I don't know what the hell is do. 
The exit button that is to exit the game and the option button that you can access with the home button. If you go down of the menu, you can find the touch control display. You can toggle on or toggle off. I will take it out just to show you that there is no build to control on the screen. But I don't need it, like I say. So I will toggle it on. Let's start the game. This one is almost full screen because it was optimized for that let's just take this one it runs very well It runs like a PC. But let me show you another game that is well known. Sorry about the gameplay, but this controller has an, a horrible lag. I wasn't gonna choose that. <laughs> anyway. Like I told you, you can map the controllers. Games run very well. You win. Uh, round two. I think it's enough. Ah, damn lag. Let me show another one, one of my favorite. Everyone knows this one too. In this one, I have to use the coin button on the screen. <laughs> right now it looks very well but that is because in the option I use a filtering the smooth scaling it's saying select to run bitmap filtering on at the expense of performance but it performed very well now you can see the pixels The games run very well. Another one well known game. Some Contra.
laggy controls do that <laughs> Very well, you, has, you see that it run very nice. Let's play a game with a little more power. Like Art of Fighting. It moves and looks very well. I'm running out of time so I will do it quickly. I hope you enjoyed the video, that's all for now, I run out of time, so until next time, I will show things for speed most wanted. I was going to show Street Fighter 4 but it's unplayable because it's not compatible with the control, but this one is and I had to erase Street Fighter because it takes a lot of space and this one takes a lot of space too, 2 gigabytes. So. Uya is running out of space very quickly. So, until next time, goodbye.